Thanksgiving, it is an honor to appear before you today as the nominee for NASA Administrator. I want to recognize my family who is here with me, my wife Michelle, and my children Walker, Sarah, and Grant. Without their love and support, I would not be here in front of you today. NASA is an extraordinary agency with an extremely talented and diverse workforce. It has brought about civilization-changing events and scientific discoveries. It has inspired billions of people, and it represents what is exceptional about the United States of America, a spirit of adventure, a spirit of exploration, and the thirst for greater understanding of the Earth and the cosmos. I am truly humbled by the prospect of leading this agency. I grew up reading about the heroes of the Apollo era, heroes like Gene Cernan, a naval aviator, and the last man so far to walk on the moon. Stories like his inspired me to be a pilot and to serve my country in uniform. NASA is at a critical time in history. Humanity is ready to go to deep space for the first time in 45 years. To do this sustainably, we must develop a consensus agenda driven by science and based on national interests. Should I be confirmed, it will be my intention to build off the work accomplished by the great people at NASA during the last administration and to move forward by following the guidance of the NASA Transition Authorization Act, appropriations legislation, and the science decadal surveys. We must all do this together. No agency can match NASA's return on investment for taxpayer dollars, not just in inspiration, exploration, and science, but also in its direct impact to the U.S. economy. For example, NASA's contributions to aeronautics have made air travel significantly cleaner, safer, and quieter. As a pilot myself, I hope to lead NASA through the next era of X-planes, or experimental planes. There are many near-term opportunities for NASA, none more than to once again launch American astronauts on American rockets from American soil and to safely return them home. The first combined launch of the Space Launch System and the Orion Multipurpose Crew Vehicle is drawing near. These two vehicles will be the backbone for returning humans to deep space and fulfilling the NASA Transition Authorization Act's goal of getting humans to Mars. I believe in this administration's vision of getting to Mars by using the moon as a proving ground and through a grand unity of effort by NASA, the administration, Congress, industry, and our international partners. In addition, NASA's commercial crew partners are drawing closer to reestablishing a capability we have not had since the retirement of the space shuttles, to regularly launch Americans to the International Space Station on American rockets. Of course, the most important part of every human spaceflight mission is making sure that our astronauts return home safely. I know what it means for lives to be on the line when making difficult decisions, including my own life. And if confirmed, I will work to promote a NASA culture where safety, transparency, and independent oversight are celebrated. In order to move humans into deep space, we must have a vibrant, commercial, low Earth orbit economy. The future of LEO, including the International Space Station, will be a priority if I am confirmed. I also plan to lead a focused space technology program, which will form the foundation of a future expansion of economic activity in LEO and beyond. NASA has inspired generations of scientists, engineers, and explorers, and it continues to do so with incredible discoveries across NASA's science divisions. These include the search for ancient and extant life with the upcoming Mars 2020 and Europa missions, the launch of the James Webb Space Telescope, Parker Solar Probe, and Earth science missions like NISAR, ISAT-2, and so much more that will help us better understand our changing planet. It is an honor of a lifetime to be nominated by the President and to be considered by the Senate for NASA Administrator. Working together, America can lead the way forward in space, inspiring the world, unlocking the mysteries of our universe, and motivating a new generation of young women and young men. Thank you for allowing me to appear before you, and I look forward to answering your questions. Thank you, Congressman. Uh